What up? Welcome to Skate Hoarders. And I hoard shit. Like this kind of shit. So before there were Skate Hoarders, it was Raiders of the Archives. It was on Skateboarder. And Jamie Owens and myself went to shoot with uh, Jeff Tremaine. Jeff had a whole bunch of Big Brother stuff. And when we left, he gave us these limited jackass Converse. I still have to this day, I've never worn them, but they're pretty fucking sick. We have a piece of uh, Dreamland. Bob Burnk was his uh, park. This was a piece of skate light that was on the vert ramp before they uh, concreted over it. Who doesn't love Johnny Layton's dick? I mean, come on. Johnny had a photograph leaked onto the internet, um, an image of him in the shower. It became a big thing, and Ed Templeton made a graphic out of it. And when this all broke out, I was working on a skateboard at the time, and I'm like, Johnny, you need to tell this story now and nip it in the butt. After that, this board came out, and I had to have it. It hangs in my shower to this day. When I see stuff I like, I buy it. Support your favorite skaters. Chris Miller, one of my favorites. There's not many of these at all in the world. Chris Miller, Bonum deck, a little cruiser. It's all laser etched. And they only made 35 of these things. Sparrow Brown uh, Big Brother. I have Little Wayne's Ashes. Before Wayne Wayne's on the show. If you watched the episode with Little Wayne, Nine Club, you saw Little Wayne just chiefing away. It's not every day you have Little Wayne sitting in your living room. People that know me know that I enjoy drinking Stella. Stella Artois basically targeted people that watched the Nine Club and basically did a post with this graphic. And it said something like, um, this Stella's for you, Roger. I thought it was awesome that they had, you know, did that. Weeks later, they just showed up and they made five of these boards for me, which was pretty cool. And uh, I still have three of them. Gifting this one to Jamie Jones, my old boss. Hey bro, thank you. Stroke of genius. When I worked at Enjoy, I thought it'd be funny just to do worldly known geniuses around the world, all just jerking off. But they basically gave the idea to some artists and he kind of like mocked up a few drawings. This was the best one. And they ended up doing it for Cairo. Cairo is a huge Stephen Hawkins fan. So Louis gave him this board thinking he'd like it. Cairo was so bummed on this graphic that he actually wanted to quit and joy. He didn't realize this was supposed to be part of a series, but the series never came out, and he just kind of got like a one-off. So, and it's like a, a cruiser shape. This isn't even a production model. Gotta have an Alex Olsen. Doesn't even say 917. Doesn't say Bianca. Jason Lee tribute from the old Jason Lee blind graphics. You know, it's funny that I keep having like the, the Raiders of the Archives like theme song in my head like <laughs> You gotta have a night hammer Just cuz Even though it's recent Years from now this thing will be worth 99 cents more than the one I paid for it It's a must have in your collection Missy dude. This randomly just showed up my door. Whoever sent this, thank you so much. Wasn't expecting this, this is amazing. But a reissue, Nada Santa Monica Airlines, 40 year reissue. Signed by Nada himself. Oscar put down the knife, come on the show. A buddy of mine asked me if I would basically cover a, uh, a Duster's skateboard event and they were doing a collaboration with Doors. They made like all these like Doors cruiser boards and actually got two of the last living Doors members autographs on, my, on this board. This board's awesome. The Last Supper, bunch of McKee iconic skate graphics all just chilling at the table. King of Rock, Rodney Mullen, Nadas, Chico, Costin, Markovich, Mike V, Gabriel, Javante, Dune, Guy, 
This is all part of Rodney's thing, Steve Rocco. Who had Marvin, uh, Marvin the Martian? Uh, Jordan Richter. Jordan Richter. Jason Lee Burgers. Jeremy Klein Veggies. Joey Brzezinski's first uh, pro model. Artwork done by Brian Lottie. 170 to 300. Can't get number nine, I guess. So, a buddy of mine, he does a lot of like licensing deals. He helps basically skate companies, you know, get in touch with like um, a lot of either bigger corporations or like, um, you know, celebrities, families, or whatever it is. So Primitive was gonna do an Aaliyah collaboration. And I can't show you the graphic below because the dude who shot the photo did, never gave Primitive permission and actually had him destroy all these boards. And I managed to get away with having one because I got lucky. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'm out. <laughs> I'm going to practice. He's <laughs> playing for the Lakers now. Fuck yeah. When I worked at Dwindle, um, every year they obviously had their sales meetings. They would give these fuck yeah boards to people who killed it that year. I never received one. I always wanted one of these boards, and then uh, I hit up Luis Cruz after I um, was laid off from Dwindle. And he actually got me one. So this is my fuck yeah. Dude, we get so much random stuff sent to the house. This one, all right, so this. How did people get the address? We have a, the PO box on our, our website. Okay. So this board randomly showed up at our PO box. Open the box, whatever. Apparently this used to be, this was Mark Johnson's board. Uh, a board that he skated on the cover of Transworld. Here's a note that Mark wrote to the kid. This is sick as fuck that someone actually made this and took the time to do it. Um, they shipped it to us, it, it broke in shipping, but they made this out of skateboards. You know, these are supposed to be like the headphones. Just bubble wrap the shit out of this stuff, dude, when you guys send this stuff. A pizza box. A used pizza box. I mean, it's not that bad, we kind of cleaned it out somewhat, but why I kept this? Fucking skate hoarders. Every like six months, I have to purge everything out of the house and just fucking throw it in the storage, and like, I'm running out of storage. This might be the sickest thing anyone has sent, ever sent us. And probably one of the most dangerous things. But someone had made us... Brass knuckles or wooden knuckles out of an old Brian Lottie board, like an old Planet Earth Brian Lottie board. I have the... Oh, the Tron one? The Tron one. Good God. Yeah, so um, they laser etched Team Raj, Team Kelly, Team Chris, onto all the back of them. And the dude, like, he made packaging and everything. Eric Lehman, first photo in a magazine I ever had. There I am, wearing a Danny Sargent t-shirt, running an Acme board. Like, the best part was like, I, I remember like going to the store, buying this and then opening it up and seeing it. Like even my friend Kurt who shot the photo didn't even know the photo was in the magazine. This is Skin Phillips' first cover of a magazine, which is pretty rad. We had him on our show and uh, I happened to have this magazine in the background. I had a photo in the Boston article back then doing a 360 flip to fakie at Government Center, photo by Jeff Kula. So 10 years later, I end up moving into this apartment. 15 years later, I find out that my apartment is in the same magazine as me in the background. So in this, there used to be, uh, be a Venice contest that they'd hold in the parking lot across the street, whatever, and there's my house in the background. And it's trippy because when I didn't put two and two together until Skin was on the show and he gave us these prints. And 
And when I, when I was looking at the print, I'm like, holy shit, there's our fucking house in the background. You know, and then I'm like, wait, I'm in the same issue as that fucking photo. So it's just fucking trippy. Pat McGee, cover of Life Magazine. Another random item that just showed up at the house. Someone sent this to us. This will be worth something one day, hopefully. The last issue of Transworld print. Who knows, they'll print more. It's a real print. Spike Jones photo. Infamous Jeremy Klein sequence. Another epic one. Still Spike, not his coppice. Read a photo. Day one. Another epic one. Jason Lee just blasting it all over the hip. This was a Transworld cover. Mm -hmm. Skateboard Mag did a uh, like a photo show and had all these photos hanging throughout the gallery. And at the end of the night, they're basically like, hey, if you guys like any photos, just grab them off the wall and take them home with you. So I grabbed this Chris Miller one, fucking crossbone. It's a print of Rick Howard. Big Brother Magazine. I wish I pulled this out when Kossi was here. Tony Hawk gave this to us. It's, so, so Tony's like, yeah, you know, like I just kind of grabbed something to bring up to you guys or whatever. Like, I think it's the only one we have. I went down to his office like months later and he's got like a couple of these like all around the office. <laughs> Jake Rosenberg photo. Gabriel Rodriguez and Mr. Guy Mariano. Every kitchen cabinet should have one of these. Thank you, Jerry. Another skin Phillips photo. Mark Gonzalez in Madrid. Sheffy photo. Another skin photo. I love this photo just because of the bike. It just reminds me of Pee Wee Herman. Cliché to the uh, board with Jankum. It's a Cliver print. Vintage Nine Club sticker. I've had this for years. Jason Lee gifted me this board. Um, an old Mark and Zealous blind board. It's got the original World Industry pitchfork grip tape on it. But apparently Jason set this up probably around the blind video days time. Did a trick on it and cracked it. First go. He probably, you know, he probably did like two or three tray flips on this thing. And he's like, yeah, snap. I was never a hoarder growing up. And like when I was doing like Raiders of the Archives for skateboarder, I'd just be like, yo, these people are fucking crazy. They, they're fucking just holding on to all this stuff. Now I'm that dude, thanks to the show we do. I just wish I had a fucking bigger house to display a lot of this stuff because like a lot of this stuff just literally just sits in stacks and is in fucking storage bins and I would like to give it a good home. You know, hit me up, fucking. Ebay, what's up?